Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Definitely hit subscribe here on YouTube. As always, if you learn something new, go ahead and give me a like. And make sure you ring the bell so you get a notification when a new video drops. So today I'm in Tableau. Uh, I'm calling this a trailblazer chart. Um, it's really a stacked donut chart. Basically what it shows is my total sales and then the percentage by segment. So consumers, 50% of the total sales. Corporate is 30.7 of the total sales and home office is 18.7 of the total sales, right? So for consumer, right, we spent uh, or we sold 1.16 million and other segments represent 1.13 million to give me that percentage, so on and so forth. So the reason I'm calling this a trailblazer uh, chart is because if you look at not oh, this is more of a best practice if you look at this right this is the, if you're for your NBA fans out there it's your Portland Trailblazers logo and this kind of reminded me of that so let's go ahead and uh, put together uh, the Trailblazer chart it's really a stacked donut chart here but we're going to go ahead and first take a look at the calculations that you need to build out this chart and I will say that this was uh, inspired by a Tableau forum post by Simon Runk um, these are his calculations I'm sharing with you with some liberties taken and, and tweaks uh, to the appearance. So I'll post that Tableau Forms link on my blog, anthonysmoke.com, so definitely check that out. Everyone always asks me, uh, please share the data set. Look, I'm using standard Tableau Superstore uh, data. So Google Tableau Superstore data, it's out there. Find that, uh, uh, find a copy of that. It comes with Tableau. So um, what we have here is I have my segments and then I have these calculations. If you look at it, fixed total sales, this is the total sales by each segment, and it's repeated because I'm using a fixed level of detail expression, right? So it's gonna compute my values using uh, the specified dimension here without reference to the, uh, the uh, view level of detail. So basically it's going to repeat the total sum of sales. If I take a look at fixed total sales, right fixed sum of sales uh, I won't get into LODs and and uh, you know go deep on that but uh, information is definitely out there on there on that uh, on that subject I should say uh, for total segment sales this is just a sum of sales so if you look here I've got sales if I drag this into measure values boom it's it's just sales I'm just calling it total segment sales and then other sales is fixed total sales minus segment sales that gives you other sales and then the percent is simply total segment sales my sum of sales for each segment divided by the the total right the fixed total sales that gives you a percentage so uh, you have to have these calculations in play um, in order to create the trailblazer chart so or the stack donut chart Right, so let's go ahead and uh, show you how uh, we get get into uh, building this. So we preview the calculations. I'm going to create the uh, the pie or the uh, the stack donut chart. Then we're going to go through adding labels, and finally we'll do a little formatting. So uh, first thing, let's create. Um, you know, once you create those calculations, right, um, we're going to create uh, in the columns. I'm going to put index, right. That gives me that. I have that in the column. I'm going to change my marks to a pie, right? And I'm going to take measure names. I'm going to bring that up to filters. And I don't want all of these, right? I just want uh, the calculations that I showed you earlier. So I want fixed total sales, right? I want total segment sales, which is just a sum of sales. And then I want my other sales, right? The fixed total sales minus the uh, segment sales. And if I say, okay, uh, we have measure names that shows up there. Now I'm going to drag the measure values, right? I can drag that into the detail and just those three show up. So that's handy. So I'm going to drag my segment, right? If we take a look at the, whoop, up in here in dimensions, I'm going to drag my segment to details. All right, great. And then my measure names, drag that to color. So I have something like this. So this is a standard, you know, kind of kind of donut chart here, and it's got uh, an index of one, right? Um, be, there's there's literally just uh, just one thing, one pie chart to show. <laughs> so what I can do now, 
um, you know, you'll notice that within my measure names, I have segment detail slices, right? So this 50% is fixed uh, total sales 2.297, and this other piece is, um, or the other two colors, I should say, uh, represent uh, the same slice, right? Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, compute using the segment. So if I go up here to index and I go to compute using segment, right, I have uh, three donut charts. When I compute the index, I'm saying show me a circle for each segment, right? So I've got segment one, which is consumer, segment two, which is corporate, and segment three, which is home office, and I get a number representing each one. That's how I get my three uh, pies to show up, right? Make sense? So now I'm going to copy my index to size. All right, let's put that on the size. And basically all that does is uh, it takes the one, makes it the smallest, two, um, the, the middle child here, and it makes three the biggest based upon the index value. It gets, a, it gets an appropriate size. So three is the largest number. It gets the biggest size. So, so what we want to do is we want to squish all of these on top of each other, right? Um, and, and the way we do that, uh, we're going to um, divide, let's go up here, we're going to divide our index by a big number. So let's say 100,000. So what ends up happening is that 1 gets divided by 100,000, 2 gets divided by 100,000, and 3 gets divided by 100,000. And the reason we do that is because now I can go in here and I can change my axis. Let's edit the axis, and I'm going to go fixed axis. We're going to go from negative 2 to 2. So what this is going to do is going to scrunch all those pies on top of each other, right? And you'll see we end up with something. This, this kind of looks like the Firefox logo, right? Um, if you're following me at this point, you'll have a, a Firefox logo is what I'm going to call this. And then um, just like we create a... Um, uh, a normal donut chart, I'm just going to put like, I could put min zero, I'm just going to put zero, right? And right, that splits us. And what I can do here is we're going to, uh, let's, let's make this a dual axis. So now we have our two uh, pie charts stacked on top of each other, right? And so what we have to do now, let's go to, right, so I did entire views. I'm going to turn on Let's play with the size first. First and foremost, uh, on my on the middle one here, I'm going to make that bigger. And whoops, on the middle one, right? I just want to. Okay, and so it always switches me over to the second one. So on the third one here, I want to get rid of all of this. I don't want any, I don't want any colors or anything like that. Right? We just have this gray. So now it makes it easier to size down. Right, you'll see, boom. Right, we have something of a donut chart. We have our three pies stacked on top of each other and our one pie stacked on top of the three pies to give us this uh, effect, right? And so what we can do now, let's play around with the, uh, let's play around with the borders. Let's turn the borders on. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna say uh, on the label, we want uh, not, uh, not font, uh, I'm sorry, on the color. There we go, border. Let's make the borders white, right? So you see I have that effect here, right? You can clearly see the outline of the three pies and our uh, fourth one here that we throw on top. And obviously I can, I can keep sizing that if I want to, but I wanna change the color around a little bit. So if I go in here to edit colors, let's make the, um, let's make the fixed total sales white. Go in here, make that white. Uh, let's make our other sales gray, right? And we'll keep our total segment sales red. Say OK. And there you go. It looks like we have a little phone chart or a banana chart uh, at this point. And I'm just going to go back in here and size this down a little bit. Yeah, that's that's good. That works, right? And then uh, what we can do now, just to keep, uh, keep this thing going here, I'm going to make the color on my gray here. And I want a black hole. I want a white hole there. So... Um, there you go. Now we have a true, uh, it looks like a running track, uh, but it's like a Rorschach test, uh, whatever, whatever you want to call it there, <laughs> right? Running track, banana, phone, whatever you want to call it. So, so we have that. We made our middle circle, right? Um, now, let me go in here, make sure this is, we've got our measure names. Um, we have our, no, I want to make sure this is right. Our fixed total, 
uh, sales. Let's bring that to the middle. That's how we get the, the blazer effect here. Oh, not quite. Let's get that. Um, I think I need total segment sales first. Total segment sales first. There we go. Um, that gets me the, the trailblazer effect uh, that I am looking for with this data. All right. And so now all we have to do is add labels. So now we're in the add label uh, uh, part of this, even though I still want to size this up a little bit. Let me let me just size that up. Ah. Let me just play around here. Yeah, that's good enough. This this is good enough. OK, so now let's do labels for the tool tip. Um, I want to get rid of these two. That's okay. And let's put in the uh, fixed total sales and put that on the label. There we go. I like that a little better. So now on our second marks area, right, I want to put in the percent of total sales and the segment, right? So if I go to, let's see, percent of total sales on the label and the text here. Well, nope. I'm going to take a percent of total sales. Let's put that on the label. There we go. And then I also want to put in the segment. Let's also put that there. All right. So I have something like that. And you'll say, oh, boy, I have all of these extra types here. So we can go into mark label. And I can say never show. I don't want to see that. Uh, mark label, never show. All right. So that's clean. And we have those uh, here are our uh, segments and their percentages. And so now I can go in the label. Let me do that. And I'm just going to put the segment, uh, put the segment there. Let's size this up a little bit. Um, let's make this 14 and bold. How does that look? Is that too much? Uh, yeah, it's all right. It's all right. I'm going to go back and revisit this. Uh, I think it's just this label. This just doesn't look, um, yeah, it didn't, it didn't size up for me. So let's go back in here. Let's do 14. Bold, say okay, there we go. And I may need to, you know, it's all about sizing on this, so I may just size that up a little bit. There we go, that's fine. All right, so now you see we have our, our blazer chart. All we have to do now is just get just our formatting. So we're gonna format, um, we're gonna go in here, we're going to, I'm gonna look for um, the, uh, the right alignment here. No, the right alignment, uh, get rid of this uh, dividers here, no. Let's take that down. Let's go in the rows, um, row divider, no. Get rid of that, columns, uh, that should be good. If I go in here, let's bring our grid lines, zero lines, none, right? Make sure rows, columns, grid lines, none. There we go, so now we're so fresh and so clean. I'm gonna hide this, show header, uh, show header, there we go. And one last thing here, what I can do, um, if I want to change the, um, let's go into label here on the second one, I can change this alignment. It's not going to do anything now, but I could change it to center top, right, or center, yeah, center, and then top. There we go. Let's do that. So it doesn't do anything yet, but what if I were to switch these two right here, I can have that in the middle. So. There you go. That is the trailblazer chart. I know it's a lot of steps. Hope you uh, got something out of this. Again, uh, if I go back to my pre-built, you know, you can throw it on a dashboard and just have a little fun with it. Like I said, is this best practice? No, but it's fun to uh, to put together. This is more your best practice right here. Your home office, consumer, corporate. You can see, um, you know, what the percentage is of each of the segments. But that isn't as fun as. And if you need to know how to put this total at the end of your stack bar chart watch my video on that um, it's not something that you get out of the box but again um, hope you learned something here this has been Anthony Smoke take this tip get out there and do some great things with your data thanks for watching